Today was Diddy's 75th annual Miami Mansion party, and I wasn't invited. But I still showed up. I arrived in style like a true baller in my rowboat. When I pulled up to the dock next to the smaller yachts, I was met by an angry little Kim. Hey, Kimberly, I'm just gonna head. She wouldn't let me get past her. After multiple failed attempts, I realized Kimberly was trying to get me to do something. I approached her again, and she started doing that weird ass dance she's always doing. But I quickly stepped back, and she stopped. That's when I got it. I had to mimic every single move that Lil' Kim was doing precisely. After performing three cycles of the Quiet Storm dance, Lil' Kim slides to the side and lets me pass. But something tells me, this isn't the last obstacle. I walked into the side of the house into a dark, cold room. Hello, the room appeared empty until I heard. It was French Montana. Yo, French, I'm just trying to get into this party. You think? Bro, you good? He kept repeating the same ad libs over and over again. What the hell is he trying to tell me? It's like he's speaking a different language. That's it. It's. I remember I took a course at ICDC College. But I don't remember shit. Damn, what is this? Last train to. Last train to Paris! And just like that, French Montana disappeared. But oh lord, what's next? As I walked into the next room, suddenly a cage dropped on me. I was scared. All I knew was, I hope Ray J's booty goons don't come after me. Then three men appeared out of the dark. The first man was Gangsta Shine with Diddy. The second man looked like Jewish Shine with Diddy. And the third man was Belize Ambassador Shine with Diddy again. I really don't know if he's the ambassador of Belize, but I'm just gonna go with it. There was some message that I had to figure out. Okay, so Shine was signed to Diddy, got in trouble, deported, and changed his life around. Nah, that can't be it. Come on, man, try harder. Gangsta Shine was mean. No, 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 he was a bad boy. Plus, he was signed to Diddy. In prison, he was still a bad boy. And now that he's out, he still called you with Diddy. After all this time, shit, I think I got it. It's bad boy for life. Finally, I'm at the party. See, that's what you all expected. But actually, Diddy was having an elegant tea party. Why, Mr. Half Dead, you made it. That day we drank tea till the sun went down. What an awesome party. So they can never question where my history's at. Out of my way, let me finish my victory lap. Peace.